I still wouldn't do it because we have these showers and storms still in the picture tomorrow on your Monday. That 40% chance, 30% chance on Tuesday, maybe squeezing in a dry day on Wednesday along with mostly sunny skies. Mostly sunny also later in the week on Thursday with only a 20% chance of an isolated pop up shower or storm. Right now on dual Doppler radar, Viper 4D, just a few widely scattered showers. Now to the south of Grand Lake, to the northwest of Jay, southeast of Grove, and also to the north of Kansas. At this time, zooming down a little bit tighter, this shower is about to go through the Jay area over the next couple of minutes. The dew point will get better over the next couple of days, so lowering down that relative humidity into the low 60s for those dew points tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but then the humidity comes back in full force later in the week, and especially next weekend with those dew points right around 70 degrees. So here are the heat headlines. The hottest temperature so far this year in Tulsa has been 94 degrees. Just a few days ago on June 9th, the average high temperature for later this week and next weekend is getting close to 90 degrees and our heat index could be 100 degrees or even higher than that this coming weekend. We're forecasting those high temperatures to be anywhere from the mid to the upper 90s on your latest 10 day forecast. Lots of cloud cover right now, but some nice peaks of sunshine. This all part of Wade's RV weather camera network at the Tulsa International Airport. 82 degrees today. We maxed out at 86 north northwesterly winds on the backside of a cool front upwards of around 17 miles per hour. 77 right now in Bartlesville on the backside of that cool front. 73 in Coffeyville. Look at the difference ahead of the cool front. We have 91 degrees right now in McAllister on future track radar in the cloud cover overnight tonight, partly to mostly cloudy skies. It looks pretty quiet, but then by early tomorrow morning chance for a few widely scattered showers, certainly not as busy as what we experienced early this morning, but then later in the morning in throughout the afternoon and even in throughout the evening. So watch this as that change comes in late in the afternoon and early in the evening, an increasing chance of widely scattered showers and storms across eastern Oklahoma and some of those could hang tough after sundown tomorrow. The chance for strong to severe storms over the next two days, mainly to the south of Interstate 40. That's tomorrow and this is coming up on Tuesday with that marginal threat. We're down to 62 degrees north winds behind that front 10 to 15 miles per hour. 50s and 60s. It's going to feel nice tonight behind that system. Northeasterly winds tomorrow between about 5 and 10. Chance for showers and storms cooler at 80 degrees. We have 70s to the lower 80s across eastern Oklahoma. Here's your latest 10 day forecast 81 on Tuesday, upper 80s on Wednesday. So yes, the heat does come back. 10% chance there of an isolated shower at noon, 74 scattered storms at five and into the upper 70s. Here's your latest extended forecast for Thursday and Friday all the way through the weekend. Take a look at that. Probably the hottest weather of the year so far coming in next weekend with those highs well into the 90s.